Welcome back to episode five, which is five. actually part two of our how to get rid of your Disney blues. So we are, as promised, going to start with number five. Number five is one of our favorite things to do, um, is to watch YouTube videos. We're yeah. kind of fond of YouTube. And, In case um, you didn't notice. We think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and we watch lots of videos on YouTube. So it's kind of stalkerish. One of the ways that we do it is you just kind of put in the search bar, Disney Vacations. Oh my gosh. And then you get the craziest things you've ever seen in life. <laughs> some are good, some are crazy. But what you get is you get people's vacations. So much fun. And it's kind of fun just to watch them. Yeah. Our, uh, I like typing like Disney Vacation Vlogs. So, like, people that are gone for, like, a week at a time, you'll get, like, the whole series of their Disney vacations, and some people are, like, professional video takers, and some are amateur, and those are kind of some of the fun ones. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, my favorite, I guess, um, we're going to do that? Well, we can do yeah. that right here. Sure. Okay. Um, my favorite, one of my favorites is um, Adam Rucker, <laughs> which, he doesn't always do Disney stuff, but I would say a good... 80% of everything he does is Disney. And Adam Rucker, um, if you're out there and you get this, I love you. And Franzie, she is one of my favorites. But anyways. We, we do love you. And you actually kind of were one of the ones that we started watching the YouTube yeah. videos. Because I got Apple TV for Mother's Day last year. And I just Googled Disney. And you came up. You came up. And so we, I found myself with a three-month-old sitting on a couch. <laughs> Um, for days watching Adam's videos and then we started referring to him and singing the songs and as if you were like our real friend yeah so we're not crazy That's you guys can be video. you yeah. can be our friends too yes but um, he's lots of fun so if you haven't looked him up uh, make sure you look him up Adam Rucker on YouTube and watch some of his Disney videos and he even goes through like some Disney products and things I think he actually may have worked for a Disney store I don't know at that some story. point um, you should tell us on you one of your videos. You should tell us, yes. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, he's one of my favorites. So what's one of yours? One of mine is See You Real Soon. See you we real watch soon. theirs every Wednesday. Um, Ashley and Joe, Ashley hi Ashley and Joe, hi. We love watching their videos. Um, they're just down to earth and it's fun. And yeah. they kind of just do a bunch of things. And they, they go to Disney a lot. So we watch their videos about their trips. Yeah. And it's also fun because they taught us things we didn't know about Disney, and we've been going for years, so yeah. it's kind of cool. And that's one thing that you get to do when you watch other people's vlogs is you might learn a tip or something that you didn't already know about Disney that you're going to look forward to on your next trip. Right, right. And so, any more? Um, Keith, you got to mention uh, Keith. Oh, Keith Lavenig. I hope I said your name right. I hope so. Keith Lavenig, we watch your channel. I think we've both gone from the very beginning. Yeah. And watched all of your videos, even down to the last few that you did about the cruises, and which actually has inspired us to really want to go on a cruise. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we enjoy his videos. Um, yeah. He has gone on cruises. He lives in New York, and um, he definitely did East York. Yeah, store. Disney Store. So they do. He does a lot of crazy things, and it's really it's funny. funny. Him and his family. I think that's why we enjoy it because he kind of travels and packs like our family does. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, so it's and we enjoy it. That's super fun. So watching those YouTube videos of those different people, um, that yeah. is absolutely fun. Another thing is to to YouTube the ride. Um, the POV you can watch the POV rides, and what POV means is not power veto for you Big Brother fans. <laughs> POV is actually uh, the point of view. So you can watch like Splash Mountain or even Mount Everest, um, which is Expedition Everest. You can watch that from the point of view ride like you were actually on the ride and it's so cool because for some people like my dad who he will never get on some of those roller coasters if he were curious and wanted to see what it would be like he can watch it our mom will never ride splash mountain as long as we are ever alive she is just not going to do it but we know that she would love the inside of splash mountain right, right. it's so cool so we actually sat down one day and showed her the inside of it and it takes you through the entire ride so that's a, a great way to, to beat those Disney blues is by watching 
you know, different vloggers on YouTube, um, like we mentioned, and or some of the rides. You can watch the point of views like you're on the ride yourself. Um, one of the other things is that we like to watch the characters dance. Um, oh, because so people capture the silliest things with their phones or their video cameras. And yeah. sometimes they will put it to music and that'll be like this craziest dance, like Funny. teach me how to doggy Winnie the Pooh doing it. You I have mean, to Google that. For real. It's so funny. <laughs> so those are some great ways, yeah. you know, watching those videos that I, we enjoy it mm -hmm. and we never get, it never gets old to us. So yeah. we think you would help, that would help you. And it kind of brightens your day. The fourth way of how you can beat your Disney Blues so we've talked about how this is an issue. Um, this is a syndrome that really is serious. So the way to counteract it is find people who are addicts like you. Find people that just get it. Yeah, um, support group. It's, <laughs> sometimes me and Mandy are really the only people who get it in our family. Sometimes. And it, it is sad. We have another friend um, that we'll call him and we'll be like, do you want to go to Disney? Let's go. Because he goes on trips. He'll make an appearance soon, I'm sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Find, find your own Disney addict support group. Yeah. The people around you that won't think you're crazy and silly, but that will kind of feed off that Disney excitement with you. And that's a great way. I know I the girl that works across the hall from me, um, she really wants to take who, her uh, three girls to Disney. And uh, so when I get excited about Disney, she usually gets excited about Disney. And then... We, you know, plan these trips together, and it's lots of fun, and then we can never go, but hey, it's fun. But it's fun. One of our things that we do on our personal Facebooks is that we always share all these Disney pictures and stuff, and people are like, what is wrong with them? Yeah. Um, but some people always like it. I know that our friend Lori in Ohio, every time I put a Disney thing on there, she's always liking it or loving it. So it's like, you got to find those people that will fill that with you. The common love for Disney. All right, that brings us to tip number three. Number three is Disney movies. I know you've been staring at all these beautiful movies in front of us the whole time. These are just a couple of our favorites. Yes. Um, got Lilo and Stitch. This is definitely a summertime favorite that we watched in the summer because, you know, Hawaii and... Just, just yeah, it's makes a good summer. Just, yeah. Peter Pan is one of my all-time favorites, so that's why it made the cut here. What ones do you got? Tarzan is probably, well, I'm Tarzan and Cinderella, but Tarzan is a really close favorite of mine. I love this. I love the music. Again, music. I love to sing along to it. I could probably quote it word for word. <laughs> and another of my favorites is Monsters, Inc., which originally my brother-in-law bought for me a while back. So it's super cool. And so you start getting those Disney blues. Pop in a video, pop in a movie. Yeah. You know, just from the get go when they show you the castle, oh, I sigh every time. I'm like, oh, love it. Yeah. So that kind of just pumps you up there. And then the, just the, the magic of Disney and the movies is just amazing. Whether it's on, on DVD or the excitement of a movie like Monsters University coming up, mm -hmm. man, it gets you excited and you could just go. And just uh, are just can't wait till you watch it. Well, that brings us to number two. Two. All right, and now for number two. Two. Number two is one of our favorite things that we find ourselves doing almost daily. Yes. Planning our next vacation. Yep. From the second that you get off that ferry at night from the Magic Kingdom, you should be planning your next trip to Disney. You always learn something new every trip that you take that, mm -hmm. oh, you can apply it to the next trip. So plug that into there yep. and start planning your next trip. Um, we're a little crazy about this, and this is kind of a and part A and part B. Um, it goes to two different extreme levels here. The first is plan your vacation. Um, start planning. Mandy, when was the last time you went to? Oh. Not to make you sadder, but when was the last time you went? Bring me down. Last time I went was, I believe, for our first anniversary. Uh oh. And that was in 2011. I thought it was in your bowels that you had to go over here. It was, so clearly something's happening. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's been a Just while. Think. It's been a long while since I've been. I, I didn't get to go with the family the last time we went. Last time they went. Well, last time we went, um, me and Libby and Tim and our friend Nick went. Um, 
last January. So it has been about six months for us. Um, but That's all it's been. I know. I'm so more angrier than I was. <laughs> well, okay. So, um, but you planned your next trip. So we're planning our next trip. Yes. Andy, when's our next trip? Our next trip is September. <sighs> we hope. We, we plan trips in hopes and wishes. Wishes. That we actually go. <laughs> Me and Mandy kind of plan trips, and our friend Nick plan trips um, quietly amongst ourselves. And then we have these meetings with our family. And we present them, sometimes with PowerPoint. <laughs> PowerPoint's so old. Yeah. That video. video. Um, yeah, we do it. It's crazy. Like, we put it up on the big TV, and it's like, this is, and we have scenes of us, uh, but we digress. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a little serious, because we plan this, and it's so important really is. And sometimes they don't happen, which makes you sad and depressed. And, and then you don't want to Disney Blues. You don't want to talk about Disney for a couple of days, but you can't help it because it's in you. So then you plan your next vacation. When's our next vacation after that? January! January! So, um... <laughs> is it going to happen? Yes! Um, so... It is. Oh, my God, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Disney cruise. And... Disney vacation what? at the parks. Yeah, it's because somebody's turning 30. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, but so I get something good for yeah. doing that. Um, so we're going to go, at, we want to go in September, we want to go in January, but we're planning them out and finding the best deals and, and planning every day. We are crazy about planning in... Yes. <laughs> Even though we're kind of, woo, just go by the seat of our pants. Not really. Just kidding. We don't have um, Excel spreadsheets for every minute at the park. Yes, some people do. That's fine. A little excessive, but fine. Um, but we don't do that. But we do plan. This day we're going here. We've got to make sure we go um, on all of these rides. Yeah. We, we are actually those people that ride every single ride at Disney World. Yes. Um, and we don't leave the parks. Why and would you want to leave once you're there? They kick you out. Yeah, and even then we kind of linger in the stores. Like, mm. please don't make us go. It's fun. Yeah. So, um, so we plan our trips, and and plan our trips, and plan our trips, and plan our trips, and then we watch videos about planning. We order the DVDs oh, for that's a great yeah. Disney vacation. That is a great way that you can get rid of Disney Blues. Is go on to Disney's website and order your custom. Disney map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your custom Disney vacation DVD. And they'll send it to you, and it comes in the mail, and it'll say the Smith family or the Johnson family. You know, and it's really cool because, you know, it just makes you feel like Mickey sent this to me. And sometimes it's really fun to send the DVD to other people <laughs> yeah. who are not Disney addicts. Yeah. Carl, you know who you are. Mm. And send it to them and like to, or to their kids so that they can get excited even though they'll never You trick them into loving Disney and they don't even know. It's great. So um but so planning your trips, your next trips is is one of is is the normal version, the normal people's way. Of getting those Disney blues out of the way. But we're addicts. So we take it to a whole other so level. So the next level maybe? The next level and I am guilty of doing this more times than I care to admit is planning the ultimate Disney vacation. My dream vacation. And what I'll do, so I go into the Disney Disney World, usually Disney World because that's the only one I've been to right now. And I'll go onto the Disney World website and I will tour, do their virtual tours of their, you know, different resorts that they offer that you can stay at. And I'll pick my favorite. And usually it's, you know, the deluxe super villas, whatever. Recently, I've done their Disney Vacation Club peoples, and that's don't do that. You'll just, <laughs> you'll just really bring your Disney blues around. But and then I'll I'll like plan it all out exactly how I want it with airfare and the Disney dining plus grand whatever plan, and you know where they pay for everything, and you don't pay for anything except for the bill, the bill, the, bill, the end. <laughs> And, you know, I plan this big extravagant dream vacation and I put it in my cart just to see how much it would be and how many years it would take me to save up. 
uh, to plan have this Disney vacation. But it's fun because, hey, you can dream a little bit. Because that's what Disney is about, is dreaming. Yeah. Um, so if you can dream it, you can do it. That's right. So, all right. So our number one. The number one tip of how you can get rid of your Disney blues is... The, the Lemon Sisters. Sisters! Yay! Yay! That is why we started this. To be honest... It's the whole reason. It Because we just love Disney so much. Yes. And sometimes we get sad when we can't be there. But we understand. We love our life. We're from Indiana. We love Indiana. We do. We love our, our home and our family and being around and the things that we do in the Midwest. But Disney is a part of us. Yeah. And... When, we're, when we don't get to go there very often, um, man, it makes us sad. So it's we have blues. to do things. It gives us the blues. So we figure there's a bunch of other people out there like us. So we wanted to help you too. Um, so that's why we started the LemonSisters.com. is because we want to yeah. help you through your week with a little bit of Disney magic and for bringing, your everyday life. Yeah, bringing Disney magic to your everyday life. So, yeah. I think we've gone through all of them now. That's your top 10 tips. Top 10 tips. That's kind of nice. Uh -huh. Top 10 ways of how you can get the Disney Blues out of your life. All right. So just to review, we're going to go through the top 10 tips one more time. All right. So number 10, the Disney Store, online or in real life. All right. Number nine. Number nine, pictures, videos, memories. Go through them. You have them. Relive that moment. Number eight. Number eight, Disney music, sing-along songs. We're walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. Number seven. Number seven, the internet. Google Earth. Go look at your favorite Disney park. Go do it right now. No, not right now. Oh, we'll finish the video. After the video. Think you're good. Number six. Number six, help somebody plan their Disney vacation. Live by Ferris, do them. Number five. Number five, watch other people's YouTube videos. Google that Keith Lappenig or that Adam Rucker or see you real soon. <laughs> Number four. Number four, find somebody else that gets your addiction. There's other people out there. You just got to find them. Number three. Number three is Disney movies. Watch one of your favorite Disney movies. Peter Pan, Tarzan, whatever it is, whatever tickles your fancy. Watch it then. Two. Number two, plan your next vacation. Be your dream vacation or the actual one you're going to be going on. Just go ahead and start planning it now. If you need some help, we can help you. Email us. Number one. Number one, the Lemon Sisters. We are the best way to beat the Disney Blues. Watch us every Wednesday. Absolutely. All righty. <laughs> so until next time, have a magical day.